The LSU Tigers are continuing to dominate the 2024 recruiting class, bringing in six foot six and a half, 240 pound four star tight end and the third best tight end in the entire country, Trey Des Green. This guy is a walking mismatch out here. Hey, my guy Trey Des Green, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep on saying it until everybody starts getting on the program. Tight end is the position of the future for college football and just football in general. These big body, just ridiculously athletic, pretty much DNs playing tight end. These are going to be the guys that are the next up and coming highest paid position players in, in all of football. Like these guys are so valuable to teams. There's a reason why I believe, what was it? Three tight ends went in the first two rounds, four tight ends went in the first two rounds of the NFL draft this year. Like. Tight ends are getting more and more valuable each and every single year, and you're going to see more and more first-round tight ends coming out, and it's going to be the new norm. Trey Des Green, again, six foot six and a half, almost six foot seven, two hundred and forty pounds. He gives you that perfect mix of having enough size to be able to be viable in the pass blocking game. You know, I, I don't think that Trey Des Green's best utility is going to be his pass blocking game. He's going to be good just because he's big, and you can teach him how to get better at it, but six foot seven let's just call it six foot seven 240 pounds and being able to help in that passing game like he's just a whole brick wall like this is pretty much jimmy graham 2.0 right here like let him continue to work on his pass catching let him continue to work on his route running and then just again the blocking that's gonna be the number one thing but the playmaking is there like the physicality being able to throw into traffic and have him come out on top and win that's where he's gonna continue to win hey lsu fans leave this video a like because Y'all got y'all one. This is one of the top 100 players in the entire country. So to land a player like this and continue to add to that 2024 recruiting class is huge. Like again, this is just literally a pitch and catch. Like that's just too easy. Like literally, I, I feel bad. Like don't do that to your quarter. If you know you got a guy who's six foot seven, throw some safety help over top. Like don't leave your man on an island like that. Yeah, again, like his just ability, again, obviously once he gets to the next level, there's going to be bigger guys who are going to be contesting with them. So it's going to need to be seen how effective he's going to be in the, pa in the pass blocking game and in the pass catching game at the next level. But his ability to be able to be a chain mover. This is a guy that I don't see him having like the pure athleticism of a Travis Kelsey. I don't see him being, I know I just said that he, he's like a little Jimmy Graham 2.0. I don't really see him being that. I see him being a more less athletic Gronk more of a just pure chain moving tight end I, I, I'm not being I'm not able to think of just a tight end cop immediately off the top of my head but this is a guy that you're going to be able to go he's going to give you 30 to 40 catches a season for around 400 to 700 yards on a really good year he's going to give you around five touchdowns in the red zone and he's just going to give you different looks he's going to be the guy that when you're in those third and sevens, third and eights, you can rely on him to move the chains. Like, and then when you need a little bit of extra pass blocking, he's gonna give you that extra time on like you put him in a, you put him in an offense that runs a lot of play actions and let him leak out, let him just hold his block for a little bit and then just shed out to the outside. This guy's gonna be eating out here. Like really, he's just uh, like every single player, but he's gonna be a scheme fit. You gotta you're gonna really have to play to his strengths. He's gonna have to get a lot better at the pass blocking game. And once he's able to do all that and then sure up his hands, dog, it's a wrap. Trader's Green's gonna be solid. So those are my thoughts on the LSU Tigers' new four-star tight end, Trades Green. Again, this guy, he shows a lot of potential and a lot of promise. I, he is a very raw player at the position. You can see, you know, he's more so just out bodying kids like he's just bigger than a lot of the plays that he's going up against so yes he is going to get a lot of easy looks a lot of the red zone looks are just going to be straight up just throwing it higher than the corner can reach but i do believe if he continues to really put in the work to develop as a tight end if he continues to work on his pass blocking maybe bulks up to 240 250 or to like around like 250 to 255 like if he gets into that slightly bigger territory again this is not going to be your travis kelsey giving you close to 100 receptions and over a thousand receiving yards this is not the tight end that you're getting you're getting a pure hybrid tight end he's going to be big enough to be able to block on the line and he's going to be athletic enough to be able to go out there and run routes and convert some and convert some first downs like i said 30 to 40 catches for about five to 700 yards receiving on like a really good year 
in the round five touchdowns. That's what you're going to be getting. And then you're going to get a solid but not extraordinary run blocker. Now, if he continues to excel and gets just even more athletic and better with his route running, then yes, you have a real weapon on your hands here. I mean, though, just the more athletic and the more refined he gets his route running, just the better overall prospect that he's going to be. But I do believe LSU is getting a great player to develop. You're getting a top 100 recruit, which is going to continue to add to that 2024 recruiting class ranking. Trey Des Green is looking like a phenomenal prospect to build around. But I want to hear from all my LSU fans. What did you guys see from Trey Des Green's highlight tape? I would love to hear it down in the comment section down below. Leave this video a like. It's absolutely free and it helps out more than you will ever know. It helps get this video out to more LSU Tiger fans. If you enjoyed this video, leave this video a like. And hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications. We drop videos on every single college football team that is out there. We keep you up to date with all the high school and college football recruiting news, transfer portal news, just whatever's going on in football. We got you covered over here at Sharp Sports, so hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.